I'm getting so much attached to this key because I didn't have a, a key for a long time. I didn't have a door to open with my own key. I was a, a, a normal, a, a normal middle-class man. I had a family. I have an old, a, an old piece of property. Uh, I have three ch children here in Finland. And uh, for me, I used to make the food for them and, and clean the house for them and everything. And uh, with the separation and my my sickness, because I, I, I was uh, a long time, I was depressed. So I lose uh, the touch with my family and, uh, and, and I, began, I, I become a homeless. The biggest problem that I had in the beginning was the stupid way that uh, my mother and my father raised me. Uh, they said to me, you have two hands, you have two legs, you work for everything that you want. If you don't work, you are not a man. That stupid chauvinist uh, idea that you are what you do and not the other way around, but you do what you are. So uh, for me, it, the biggest problem and the biggest step was actually to go and try to get the help. Because here in Finland, we have a incredible good social security service we have an incredibly good uh, service of uh, to, to for the, the unemployed but i was too proud stupidly proud i was sleeping on the street and i, I didn't have any clothes on my on my back but i was proud because i'm a man i have to cope by myself the biggest problem was to take that step to go to the social security person and say, sorry, I can't cope anymore. And uh, they took me with open arms. It took almost one and a half years before I could call this place my home. Uh, first, because I had a lot of uh, angry inside of myself and, uh, and I didn't want or even couldn't let it go. And my first reaction when I came here and I, I see the place, we have, uh, we have the lake just in, in my back door. I have the windows just right in front of the lake. I have uh, the, the forest. Uh, the birds wake me up every morning. And say, I say to myself, I, I'm in paradise. <laughs> this is a place that I, I couldn't afford by myself because I, I, I'm not working at the moment. I was uh, in a big depression for a long time. I was uh, in medication. I didn't have... Uh, I, I was actually very long thinking about killing myself. So for that reason, I didn't actually even think about find a place to live. And of course, I had, uh, during the depression, I had alcohol abuse. Uh, it was one of the biggest problems that I had. And one of the best things that I did was five years ago, stop, I uh, said to myself, no more and no more. In three months, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my diploma to be a chef, a la carte. <laughs> <laughs> Que una canción quisiera fuera una declaración de amor romántica sin reparar en formas tales que pongan fuego a lo que siento raudales te amo te amo eternamente te amo si me faltaras no voy a morirme si he de morir quiero que sea contigo si me 
faltara, no voy a morirme. Si he de morir, quiero que sea contigo. Mi soledad se siente acompañada. Yolanda, Yolanda.